All right, theory time. Mm -hmm. So the last two chapters of the Boruto manga, chapters 77 and 78, to be honest, they've done an excellent job of giving us, the audience, a massive sense of progression when it comes on to moving towards the Boruto time skip. From Kawaki finally switching sides, quote unquote, or finally going on his own path to become that gray area antagonist, to Boruto receiving the scar, all things that we have basically been you know showcase are shown overall are you know just teased on when it comes on to boruto chapter one or boruto naruto next generations episode one now if we were to go back to episode one or forward whichever way you want to slice and dice it you know most persons at this point would have deduced that kawaki isn't evil and we've seen kawaki's growth over the time period of these last what 40 50 chapters give or take and most persons i'm sure can deduce or conclude that you know kawaki isn't evil there's more nuance to it than that but outside of analyzing his growth over the last 40 to 50 chapters or even just analyzing the dialogue from chapter one or episode one both would lead you to deduce that yeah he's not evil but outside of that and even more recently the next layer that we have to look at when it comes on to comparing where kawaki or the story overall is now compared to chapter one is that of course kawaki wants to kill boruto now but looking at the dialogue from chapter one or episode one he wants to actually just seal boruto away as he said he'll send boruto the way of the seventh and you know that got me thinking like yo hmm why would Kawaki just want to seal Boruto now? Apart from maybe, you know, Kawaki going through some developments over the course of from, you know, compared to like from where we are now to where that is, apart from potentially say, oh, maybe killing all Otsutsuki isn't the right way. Maybe get some more nuanced appreciation for what he must do and how he must go about achieving his goals. You know, those things are a given. But again, it kind of had me thinking, hmm. Is it possible that the Otsutsuki are hunting Boruto? Hmm. Let's bear with me here. So, of course, this is a theory, just a wild theory. And, of course, we aren't anywhere where we're kind of close, but not really that close to the time skip where I can, like, you know, have any concrete information where any of this madness that I'm spewing is concerned. But... Again, yes, it has me thinking, what if the Otsutsuki are hunting Boruto? And, you know, why would they be hunting Boruto? Maybe the question. And it got me thinking, hmm, the Jogan, the pure eye, right? We don't really know a lot about it. It's been shown in the anime, not so much the manga outside of chapter one, but it kind of has me thinking, okay, what if we go along the path of you know, Kawaki getting a different appreciation when it comes on to the variety of Otsutsuki that may or may not come into the story in the future are just the overall race. And maybe that does change his mind in terms of how he approaches his goal of protecting Naruto in the village. And he no longer wants to kill all Otsutsuki. But maybe the Otsutsuki are in this gray area type of situation where, you know, of course, not all of them might be evil. And there's something, when it comes down to, like, you know, the chakra fruits and maybe something that's in their culture or on their planet that may be yet to be shown to us, the audience, he gains a better appreciation for it. And... I'm thinking if it's a situation where, you know, most persons I think are thinking, oh, maybe they're doing, it's a situation where they have to do a certain set of actions for their survival. And I'm thinking, hmm, what if the Jogan can be linked to the Otsutsi clan salvation, if I could say so myself? I know this is wild and out there, but just, I just, I'm just thinking, I'm kind of spitballing here. And if it's a case where the Jogan can be tied to the salvation of the Otsutsuki clan, because despite me firmly believing that Boruto is going to end on like a, a dark note, more than likely things will, there should be a light at the end of the tunnel, at the very least I would imagine. So maybe when it comes on to the redemption and salvation of the Otsutsuki, it's tied into the Jogan. And maybe the Jogan is something that might be tied to Shibai, you know? And at the same time, maybe there could be a faction 
within the Otsu scheme. Maybe there could be a genuine thing where the Drogon can be linked to the salvation of the Otsutsuki, our redemption, when it comes on to all the things they've done. But maybe there could still be a faction within, you know, that 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 whole race or group where they would really want to, you know, take Boro, Boruto out or you know use his Drogon eye, the, the eye of hope or whatever the case may be for you know malicious purposes. And maybe that's tied into you know Kawaki wanting to seal away Boruto instead, because more than likely. Only Ishiki has access to the Dai Kokuten dimension, you know, the dimension without time. So I'm thinking if we could probably tie Kowaki's potential development and appreciation in terms of his view on killing all Otsutsuki to the with, with the fact that maybe the Drogon is a way for redemption or salvation or even just saving some aspect of the Otsutsuki race, maybe we could be onto something here with this wild theory of mine, honestly. Because as I said, it kind of goes where, you know, Kawaki, the path is Kawaki gets an appreciation of it, learns more about the Otsutsuki situation. Through the development of the Jogan, we can say, okay, maybe this can be tied to saving them. And as we go along in the story, maybe a faction of Otsutsuki definitely want to use the Jogan for something else. And that's tied into potentially the, the destruction of the entire Shinobi system, maybe. And Kawaki is just, you know, even though at Nagin Age of Shinobi is over, the only way to really you know, save the whole situation, it's just really seal away Boruto so he can really handle things by himself, you know, kind of lone wolf it essentially. So yeah, honestly that the idea just came to me over the weekend, I wanted to record and just kind of put my thoughts out there on this, so yeah. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think, this has been a, just a short one, I guess for this evening for the most part, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, Kawaki wanting to seal away Boruto to, you know, protect his Jogan from potentially the Otsutsuki clan and at the same time maybe the Jogan might be the link to redeeming or saving the Otsutsuki clan. We don't really don't, we really and truly don't have enough information to really confirm any of this but again that's why it's a wild theory of mine here. But anyway. Let me know what you guys think. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Of course, tomorrow is the end of month subscriber stream, so come out and let's chill, talk, all that jazz and blues. So, yeah. Sanjiu Chiyo, I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.